that's why the media has got to be held accountable for what they've done. And that's why when somebody like, uh, what is it, Univision? Univision comes out and does Fast, uh, Fast and Furious report. We should herald it. It should be talked about. And people should recognize how different Univision is from all of our media out, uh, our media sources. Univision went in and got a um, and got a uh, Freedom of Information Act in Mexico. They had they had hoped that we could get this information from America, but we can't. Now there's a new report from Univision that is was broadcast, I believe, last night. One source says the findings are the holy grail that congressional investigators are, have been looking for. It shows that people, 16 kids that were attending a birthday party, gunned down, blood all everywhere. Where'd they get the gun? What happened? How'd that, where'd that gun come from? Part of Fast and Furious. Over and over and over again. The killings, the kidnappings, by using a gun that our Department of Justice provided. The White House, whether you know it or not, if this were a Republican administration, the banner on every TV show would say, White House in crisis. Because right now, the White House is in crisis on Libya. They lied to you. They sent the U.N. ambassador out, Susan Rice, to lie to you about Libya. Nobody in the media is even asking the right question. Why was the ambassador alone with a couple of Navy SEALs, CIA agents that are looking for weapons of mass destruction? Where was his security? And why, on September 11th, would you send him to Benghazi? Why? That's a really important question. White House in crisis. When it comes to the entire Arab world, the blind sheik, they're saying that the blind sheik's not going to be released. Did you see what Morsi said over the weekend? Yeah, he vowed he would be released. He's the president of Egypt. He, again, Mm -hmm. this is the second time, said he's going to be released. What kind of deal has been transmitted to Morsi, not Vladimir, this time? The White House is in crisis because they have made their bed with the Muslim Brotherhood, and it is falling apart. I contend we gave the Muslim Brotherhood, we're giving them $435 million, even though Morsi um, Morsi won't protect the Coptic Christians. If this was a Republican administration, it would say White House in crisis, because last week the president said the future doesn't belong to those who defame the prophet Muhammad. That's the part I heard. But the press only heard, but they also have to stop the persecution of Christians. Well, did you see what happened to the Coptic Christians this weekend? Coptic Christians are being slaughtered, being driven out of their homes and their towns, and given 24 hours to leave. They reached out to Morsi. Morsi said he won't protect them. Where's the president on this one? White House in crisis. The White House says that everything is fine on the the economy front. Is it? Stu, what was that stat I sent you on Friday or Saturday? That stat I sent you about the that's 100 percent. It coincides with a recession 100 percent of right, the time. It's like long term durable goods uh, reorder or something. Right? Yeah, yeah. So it's 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 showing recession again. Yeah, the only time that this drop has happened is during a recession in all of our history. 100 percent of the time, it correlates to the economy already being in recession. On the economy, White House in crisis, because it's only a matter of time. The U.S. Embassy has issued warnings now for Egypt. If you're an American, you better get out. Unemployment hits 20% in seven Colorado counties. By the way, I talked to somebody um, who does modeling for polls. He said it comes down every time it comes down to Colorado. What is Colorado going to do? If Colorado goes, um, if Colorado goes uh, for Romney, Romney wins. 
that's what this guy's modeling shows. Polling's been pretty good, I would say, for Romney in Colorado, too. Hopefully that's true. 20% unemployment in seven counties in Colorado? Is Romney ahead? Or is he just close? Close. Oh, okay. Some polls actually do show him ahead, I believe. We need to get to Colorado. I need to be in Denver. I'm in Denver tomorrow, aren't I? Yes, you are. It's close. The White House is in crisis. The White House, if this president is reelected, it, it, the the scandals that are either going to be brushed under because of a new crisis that is just over the horizon uh, will be astounding. Will be astounding. Unless we have the House and the Senate, but know that the House and the Senate will go after the president on these scandals fast and furious as they should. Go after the Fed. Printing money when you said you wouldn't monetize the debt. You're buying 65% of the debt. You're printing the money. Where are we getting that? They should go after the Fed. And what will happen? What happened to the ambassador in Benghazi? Why was he there? Tell me about your relationship with the Muslim Brotherhood. Who are you releasing and why? How are you treating the, the Prime Minister of Israel? Did you know that Susan Rice, our UN ambassador, actually didn't go to Benjamin Netanyahu's speech? She had a luncheon she had to go to. Our best friend, Israel, is given the most important speech, and our U.N. ambassador goes to do a lunch instead? Really? The question is, are we going to have a, a, a series of nothing but hearings and a battle between the, the executive branch and the legislative branch, or are we going to move forward with the work of the American people? I got news for you. If this president gets in, he will move forward with his work, not the American people, his work. Tonight, 